जी तो वेलकम कहते हैं आपको आज के इस प्रोग्राम में इस लेक्चर सीरीज़ में सो so, आज हमारी लेक्चर सीरीज़ का आज पाँचवा लेक्चर है जिसमें हमने पहले लेक्चर्स में फ़र्द को दरियाफ्त किया कि फ़र्द की जो असल शक्ल है वो क्या है या जो फ़र्द जिस तरह से उसकी रिप्रेजेंटेशन होनी चाहिए एक इंडिविजुअल की वो किस तरह से कौन कौन से अनासर से मिलकर बनती है फिर हम ने जब ये दरियाफ्त कर लिया तो हम बिला वास्ता डायरेक्टली हम एक बहुत अहम हिस्से की तरफ आए बड़े अहम टॉपिक की तरफ आए वो था कम्युनिकेशन कि कम्युनिकेशन किस तरह की जाती है कम्युनिकेशन की अहमियत क्या है ना सिर्फ हमारी इनफरादी ज़िंदगी में बल्कि हमारी माशरती ज़िंदगी में भी और हमारे माहौल के साथ हमारी कम्युनिकेशन जो है हमने वर्बल नॉन वर्बल इस आ, सारे प्रोसेस पे बात की आज भी आज के लेक्चर को भी क्योंकि ये इतना अहम टॉपिक है मैं आज के लेक्चर को भी चाहूँगा कि कम्युनिकेशन के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से हम या आज भी बात करें और ये भी मुमकिन है कि आज का लेक्चर जो है वो पिछले लेक्चर से थोड़ा सा तवील हो जाए क्योंकि मैं जो इसकी तफसीलात हैं उनमें ज़रा गहराई से जाना चाहता हूँ तो मैं चाहूँगा कि आप इसमें मेरे साथ मिलकर सोचें और ये जो इंफॉर्मेशन आप तक आई होप के आई आई बी एबल टू डिलीवर वो आपके लिए फ़ायदा मंद होगी मैं जब भी कम्युनिकेशन के बारे में सोचता हूँ मैं एक लफ्ज़ को जहन में रखता हूँ और वो अंग्रेज़ी का एक बड़ा सादा लफ्ज़ है उसको जो है टॉक यानी बोलना तो टॉक को मैं टॉक के चारों लेटर्स को मैं अगर डिफ़ाइन करता हूँ अपने जहन में तो मुझे कम्युनिकेशन का पूरा प्रोसेस समझ आ जाता है कि अफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन जो है वो किस तरह की जाती है तो टॉक का मैं आपको ब्रिविएशन जिस तरह मैं अपने लिए करता हूँ वो मैं आपसे शेयर करने लगा हूँ टॉक को मैं ए, कहता हूँ कि टी स्टैंडस फॉर टेलिंग के दूसरे को बताना और ए स्टैंड फॉर आस्किंग कि आप सवाल पूछते हैं एल इज यू नो लिसनिंग विच विच इज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट कम्पोनेंट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वी स्पोक अबाउट इट येस्ट डे दैट इट इज़ पर हैप्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कम्पोनेंट इन द होल कम्युनिकेशन प्रोसेस इट इज़ टू लिसन टोटली एंड कम्प्लीटली एंड देन के स्टैंड फॉर नोइंग सो द आउटकम ऑफ अ टॉक इज टू नो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अ टॉक इज टू नो सो टू गेट टू दैट के यू हैव टू गो थ्रू टी ए एल एंड देन यू गेट टू के विच इज द कंक्लूशन ऑफ दैट सो दिस इज हाउ आई काइंड ऑफ इन माई ओन माइंड आई हैव केप दिस फॉर्मूला टू फॉर फॉर अ कम्प्लीट प्रोसेस ऑफ communication what these four letters represent so i hope that if if you uh, can keep this in mind what is the purpose of your communication it is to know so to for knowing you have to go through telling you have to go through asking you have to go through most importantly listening listening with concentration so this is how you can very easily uh, classified now the important thing is uh, we will have to hame ab is in individual factors pe agar baat kar le thodi to ye bhi achhi hogi kyunki hum bahut si cheezon ko for granted lete hain hum kehte hain t if we are talking about telling telling is you know just anybody is telling his story or his side of the situation and um, you know he's expressing himself but telling is a lot more than that psychologically if you see so bahut sa hamari jo conditioning hai hamari bahasiyat e fard ke ya hamari jo upbringing hoti hai usme bahut sa hissa jo hai wo telling ka hota hai listening ka hamare maashre mein to बहुत ही कम होता है अक्सर माशरों में भी इंसानी माशरे में यही रवैया रखा जाता है कि बच्चों को चाहे वो सटली हो यानी सटल तरीके से हो या वो कम 
कंपलशन के तरीके से हो बताया जाता है बच्चों को चुनाचे हम टेलिंग को ज़रा एक्सप्लोर करेंगे कि टेलिंग है क्या चुनाचे जब बच्चा पैदा होता है तो उसको बताया जाता है कि ये करना है ये कर ऐसा करना है ऐसे करना है सो टेलिंग इज़ आल्सो दैट वो स्टोरी टेलिंग इज़ आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ इट बट यू नो यू टेलिंग जो है दिस कंप्राइज ऑफ अ लॉट मोर देन वॉट वी थिंक इज टेलिंग सो आज की सोसाइटी का मसलन अगर बात करें टॉकिंग के लिहाज से तो पहले ज़माने में आप जानते हैं कि पहले लोग एक दूसरे के पास बैठते थे हम गाँव में जाते थे तो देखते थे कि चौपाल लगे हुए हैं या बरगद का दरख्त होता था लोग बैठते थे लोग बातें करते थे आज जो वेस्टर्न साइकोलॉजी है नफसियात का जो इल्म है वो ये जान रहा है कि यूं ही बातें करना एक दूसरे से इट हैज़ अ ग्रेट पर्पज़ टू फुलफिल वेन इट कम्स टू मेंटल हेल्थ यू डोंट इट इज़ नॉट यूजलेस लेकिन वॉट हैज़ हैपन्ड इन आवर सोसाइटी द टेलिंग टेलिंग हम अक्सर कहते हैं कि यू नो इंफॉर्मेशन इज मनी यू नो इंफॉर्मेशन इज मनी दिस वॉज अ वेरी कॉमन प्लेस सेंग ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट यू नो टू थ्री डेकेट्स जब से कमर्शलिज्म ने डेवलप करना शुरू किया है सो टाइम बिकेम मनी टेलिंग विच इज़ इंफॉर्मेशन बिकेम मनी सो दैट वॉज सपोज टू बी कैप्ट टू योर सेल्फ एंड इम्पॉर्टेड ओनली वेन देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ कमर्शल गेन विच यू विल गेट आउट ऑफ इट सो टेलिंग बिकेम एन एसेट ऑफ पीपल हु आर इनफॉर्म्ड पीपल हु हैड नॉलेज सो दे सोल्ड दिस थिंग टू अदर्स सो आ होल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ थिंकिंग आर थॉट प्रोसेस बिकेम जस्ट लाइक अदर कमोडिटीज इन द मार्केट प्लेस so this is how uh, it unfortunately happened and at home you know when we are talking about telling to jab aap ghar mein aap observe karte hain ki bachchon ko hamesha ye bataya jata hai ki ye karo ye na karo ye sahi hai ye nahi sahi hai classroom mein bachcha jata hai to jo teacher hai wo har waqt kehti hai ki is board ki taraf dekho yahan concentrate karo ye kaam karo मेक अ लाई क्यू बनाओ ये पढ़ो ये लिखो ये सारा टेलिंग में आता है सो वॉट इज एक्चुअली बिहाइंड टेलिंग दैट इज़ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो बिकॉज वेन यू आर टेलिंग सम थिंग टू समबडी इट इज़ टू एग्जर्ट अथॉरिटी यू नो बिकॉज द इम्प्लाइड thing is behind telling that you know better and the other person uh, has lesser knowledge or less information and you are fulfilling his need uh, by by contributing uh, through your own knowledge and experience so that is a part of telling so what we are trying to do is we have dissected the word talk first which is which is communication and now we are dissecting you know one by one the subheadings or the each and the, the the small words which each and every letter of talk uh, represents so we are trying to dissect it and talk about it so telling is actually that you know it is um, exercising your authority you know um so also the you know then when when authority comes in then punishment comes in as well so if you're telling something uh, then a, a a reward or a punishment is going to follow so if if what you are telling is complied with then there is a reward for it this is how you know the teaching uh, systems have developed um, in many forms so uh, reward and punishment these are the two uh, things and then in the society that happens to you know um if you are it, when you come into become a part of the society 
a functional part of the society. By that I mean that you uh, adopt a profession and go into a, a socially uh, utilitarian um, area, then it becomes a, a kind of a, a part of the whole social structure for you that you will be rewarded for what you are what what you are complying with the established rules in the society but if you don't comply with those rules then there are punishments there is the this penal code you know the the punishment system of punishment in the laws all these things are based on that psychology of punishment and reward so this punishment and reward is extracted from that telling hmm? And then, of course, religion is also part of it. Religion has this sin and reward uh, paradigm, which means that if you will do as the scriptures tell you to do, then you will be rewarded. And if you don't do as the, as the scriptures tell you, then you are worthy of being punished. You, you should be punished. So you should pay for it. So hell and heaven are created out of telling. Jannat or Dozakh ka jo concept hai, ye bhi is telling se nikla hai, punishment and reward. And then, you know, this telling is also connected with fear. Khauf ka jo jazba hai. Aur aap hiran hoongi, ki agar aap khud par ghaur karein, baasiyat e fard ke, mein bhi kabhi ghaur karta hoon, तो मुझे फेयर जो है खौफ वो मुआशरे में लोगों में बड़ा वाइड स्प्रेड लगता है देर आर वेरियस यू नो वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ फेयर्स दैट वी ऑल हैव एंड सम ऑफ देम वी आर अब्लीवियस टू सम ऑफ द फेयर्स लिव इन द वेरी बिटवीन द थॉट्स यू नो द थॉट्स आर मोर विविड the thoughts can be identified but there is something between the thoughts which is uh, non definable you cannot define it at that space and even in that uh, non definable place uh, fear exists so it is such an important emotion and uh, we will talk about it in a different lecture it needs perhaps a series of lectures what fear is but for the time being we are talking about this that telling creates reward and punishment reward and punishment carries the ideology behind it of fear so you are you are always afraid since you are a kid you know uh, when you are a child this fear begins to implant itself into your psyche so you will you are afraid of doing something which you will be condemned for so you are you are kept away from things which will which are which are not recommendable by the society and you will be compelled to do things which are rewarded in the society so that comes into it and fear is also you know the, the it is if you're seeing it very clearly then you see that fear is the mechanism that authorities use to get compliance out of people and authority is ideology authority is religion authority is the state authority is you know your local government uh, authority is your father authority is your mother you know so I, that the whole thing whole structure is based upon that actually you know if you if you look at the history also jab agar aap tareekh ko dekhe insaan ki to to aap dekhenge ki insaan hamesha se isse ki chahta raha hai ki mujhe bataya jaye wo kyunki na batane ka alternative ye hai ki i have to find the answers for myself and that is a huge undertaking that is a very difficult thing not there are only exceptional minds you know 
who can think very genuinely and very originally. So most of the, 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 the majority is happy with being told that there is an authority which is telling you to do this and they're doing it and they're not questioning it. You know, they, they might break it while nobody is seeing it, but laws are largely imposed to, to, to extract uh, compliance from people. So, um, you know, as humans, if you if think about our history, so, so we have been always told, so religions have told us to do this and do that. So Ten Commandments, for example, you know, the old Ten Commandments. So they are running through the religious structure. All the religions are, you know, more or less complying with that. So we have been told, uh, I, I'm not undermining the importance of religion because the, humans do have herd mentality. We are, we, we are as Aristotle said, you know, uh, we are social animals. So there, there has to be a unified system. So religion provided that uniform system, uh, but it did not allow then, like every authoritarian system, Thinking individual is not um, encouraged, so uh, you are you are to comply as your uh, as the people living with you uh, do, as the people other other people in the society they do the same. You are expected to do the same, and then you will be rewarded. But in the history, you know, um, it has been so. Uh, and it has been so because, as we said, the alternative is very difficult. Being told and doing thing is easier. Finding out something for yourself is much more difficult. So we are afraid. We are afraid. So fear of not listening is also the fear of adopting something very original and finding answers for yourself because that is a very arduous, very hard job to think for yourself. So it is okay and people compromise on that largely, you know, in every society. So ask, so, so we come to the second part, ask, you know, A for asking. So ask, so when we ask, the intention behind asking is what actually makes all the difference. Aapne dekha hoga, bahas mein, mubahas mein, log poochte hain kuch, to us poochne ke piche jo niyat hoti hai, jo intention hoti hai, वो कई दफा बहुत नोबल नहीं होती उसका मकसद ये होता है कि आप कुछ ऐसा एक्सट्रैक्ट करें किसी से कि आप उसको किसी बहस में जो जो आपका मौजू है बहस है उसमें आप उसको हरा सके उसको डिफीट कर सके ये आपका मकसद होता है लेकिन जिस आस्किंग की वजह जिस आस्किंग को मैं जेन्युइन समझता हूं और आप भी यकीनन इस बात से इत्तेफाक करते होंगे तो एक्चुअली बंदा ये ऑब्जर्व करता है हर किस्म की ये जो आपकी डिबेट्स होती हैं उनमें आप ऑब्जर्व करते हैं कि लोग अक्सर पूछते हैं तो वो इसलिए नहीं पूछते हैं कि वो जेनुअनली कुछ जानना चाहते हैं वो इम्पोज ये करना चाह वो दिखाना ये चाहते हैं कि दे नो बेटर देन यू सो द फेमस ग्रीक फिलोसोफर यू नो सॉक्रेटिस वो अक्सर अपने डिसाइपल्स को कहा करता था नो दाई सेल्फ दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस सेइंग नो दाई सेल्फ कि अपने आप को जानो और इसको बाद में यू नो पीपल चेंज इट टू नॉलेज इज 
uh, self knowledge is the best knowledge you know many versions of it but so one day he was he was doing that the same he was repeating the same thing to to his disciples and a disciple got irritated aur usne usko pucha ki master you keep on asking me uh, asking us whether we know ourselves but do you know yourself so, so he responded very interesting response he said that i don't know what i do not know myself either but i know this not knowing so knowing that not knowing is the most noble point to start uh, to investigate about anything in your life so that is asking that is genuine asking and genuinely answering so that very much you know the socrates thing that i quoted it is very much so that the best questions that you can put or the, the best person that you can put questions to is yourself and when you put questions the you should be committed to it that you will find the most honest answer to your query and when that that quality comes uh, into play and it becomes an integral part of your personality then you will be able to see uh, how other things are explored because first you have you have explored a question within yourself it has arisen you have responded to it with responsibility and now uh, you know you have exercised it you have experienced it in yourself that satisfaction of creating an original question and answering it in an original way because when you you are answering something or when you are asking something which is based upon true need to explore that true need to explore demands honesty so that asking which is part of communication should be meant for extracting honest and truthful reply from the other you know not an imposition so that was about asking so listening listening as we said earlier the most important fragment of communication is listening so when you listen how do you listen listening is nothing less than an art we spoke about uh, that in a previous lecture that there is a fence around your personality so you build a fence and most of that most of the components of that fence are you are oblivious to them yourself so you they unconsciously become you know a part of you part of you a kind of a circle around your personality so then your listening becomes conditioned you listen just to extract partial information you do not become you know listening as an as a if you consider it as an art then listening you become listening then listener and listening noun and verb are no more because a noun as a listener implies an entity who is interpreting please understand that anybody who is differentiating between listening as a verb and listener who is himself is differentiating and breaking down the process of listening and creating a division creating a division in a way that the listener is the interpreter he is interpreting what is being said what he is hearing according to his experiences his likes his dislikes his uh, religious uh, you know uh, religious kind of um, 
um, understanding of things, his social kind of structure, his social standing, his, uh, his class structure that he lives in. So listening becomes corrupted. Listener corrupts the verb of listening. So listening has to be a complete, a, a complete forceful uh, happening within uh, communication. So communication, most co important component, listening. Sorry, I have to revert to some notes and I'll come back to you. It won't be long. Okay, so we will cut it short um, and we will move on to asking some questions to ourselves. So listening we have established that listening has to be a way, has to be protected from the division of listener and listening, the, the division between verb and noun. It has to be a complete, um, unfragmented um, happening. So after establishing that, we ask ourselves following questions. Can we listen without letting our prejudices, concepts and beliefs to interpret and interrupt and function as filters. Because they're functioning as filters, can we drop them? This is a genuine question arising in me. I invite you to ask this question to yourself. Can you do that as well? Can I do that as well? Let us take this, t let us make it into a shared um, undertaking and just listen. You know, we drop all that and we just listen. And by having the purity in listening, really savor the essence hidden behind the words. So you will be amazed, you know, uh, if you are a good listener, you will be amazed how much you can explore in what is being said. This is my personal experience and I am sharing it with you and I invite you to participate in that experience. Drop all your prejudices for once and listen to people who are trying to talk to you and you will see how your, you know, your uh, ability to solve conflicts between people and the social issues and the political issues and whatever it could be it will be so much clearer, so much, you know, there will be no cloudy feeling in your head. You'll be very articulate, very clear about how uh, you're, you're seeing the situation. Because you are yourself, you're, you are listening and the listener and you, you have absorbed that situation inside you and, and the resolution that you're going to come out with is going to be a very complete and you know, uh, a complete happening, a, a total, you know, kind of experience, experience of totality. So lastly, to know. So what is to know? So this is the concluding segment. What is to know? Is it knowledge? We ask. Because knowledge is... Um, Information, maybe. Many people interpret knowledge as information. And yes, it could be true. So when we are actually listening, are we... So we are, you know, it is, are we automatically 
there is an automation in it involved. We are interpreting what is present in the light of the past. We are interpreting what is present in the light of the past because all experience, all knowledge, all information rests in the past. I am today what I started becoming many, many years ago. So all that movement of thought, of knowledge is going to interpret my new knowledge. Any new information is going to be filtered through that uh, filter of knowing from the past, my past knowledge, my past experiences. So I'm going to evaluate my new understanding of things according to the previous experiences. This is how uh, usually uh, communication happens. And then that is uh, um, a drawback in good communication. That you, you, because you're not listening without filters, you're, you're knowing and interpreting the information given to you by the SIF, by the, by the filters which are provided by the past. So this is a very important uh, distinction, very important thing to understand. So, you know there have been over 5,000 wars in the world. Hmm? So it becomes quite questionable whether man always learns out of experience or not. Hamesha insan apne tajarbe se ya mushahide se seekhta hai ya nahi ya uske liye koi koi naya andaaz seekhne ka chahiye hai kyunki 5000 jange ho chuki hain duniya mein agar ek dafa ek disaster se banda seekh jaye to dusra disaster hone ke chances kam ho jate hain agar usne seekha ho lekin hum dekhte hi hain ki aisa hua nahi ki 5000 duniya mein jange hui hain अब तक जो मार धार कत्लो गारत जारी थी दुनिया में, it it shows that we have not learned from our past experiences. So so that is accumulated knowledge. Accumulated knowledge. We have accumulated it through our experiences, through information, through education. You know and the, through through what has happened before, we have uh, uh, we have devised of you know various formulas to look at various situations and deduct that because it happens then it will happen this way now. So this is the process of evaluation. But how right is that process of evaluation? That is important. Excuse me. That is important and this will change the whole structure and whole hierarchy of knowledge. If you understand that knowledge which is accumulated is actually this. We are not saying wrong or right at this time but we are saying knowing comprises of various types of knowing. So in effective communication what is the knowing that you need? You need because all the components we have gone through, uh, we have gone through in, with a genuine mind. We have presupposed a person who has seen the, the shortcomings in himself and has dropped them. So it is a complete person who is telling, it, it is a complete person who is asking, it is a complete person who is listening, and it is a complete person who is knowing. So it is a complete different quality to the whole process of communication. So currently I would like to stop here because um, you know I have taken enough time. So I think um, if there is anything you know about communication what I can do is I can um, you know if something comes to mind I can do us a, a, a short recap in the next lecture about communication 
and uh, then we can move on to the next um, next uh, topic that we have uh, in the lectures. But it, it has been a pleasure talking to you today and I hope that you have enjoyed the lecture um, on communication and um, we will be in touch. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it very much and I hope that uh, you can stick along and um, we can find out things for ourselves and you know see things in a different light. So thank you very much and have a good evening. Thank you.